Go. Yeah! And then you're gonna turn to the side on your hands and knees. And oh, try. God. It's like super hoey. I wanna you be more be cutie. What is vibing? This is Vish, and today I'll be responding to the Kardashian show on Kim Kardashian takes TikTok lessons from Addison Rae. I'm a meditation coach and I've got hundreds of people on their meditation journeys. If you want a one-on-one session with me, either comment down below or message me on Instagram, at Vibes. So you read the title, I'm an aspiring yogi. Not a yogi yet, but an aspiring yogi. And so whether it's spirituality, wisdom, meditation, yoga, all sorts of things like that I am big on. And so right now, I just want to tap into, I guess, the pop culture and share and provide a meditative lens. So with that being said, let us get right into the video. We should stretch a little before. <laughs> stretch? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna do a, um, a split, so. I've never done a split. Really? Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> should, should that be a 40-year-old goal? Yes. So I'm freaking out a little bit because today Addison is going to teach me. Wow, I'll the first say that that specific butterfly stretch they're doing is actually part of a yogasana posture. So it's really cool to see how they're using this for whatever TikTok dance that they're doing. It's really nice to see how a thousand year old yogic process is being used by the very new age TikTokers today. So I just wanna make that connection and let's continue. A TikTok dance. Try to push down as far as you can. Okay, yeah. What? You better yes. work, Lit. Kimberly. I can't get down like you. Ooh, I have a cramp. <laughs> Listen, I'm no dancer. I'm not claiming to be, but if anyone's gonna make me look good, it's Addison. So I'm gonna take the time and practice this and see what I can do. So you're gonna start off with a right leg kick. So you'll just kick up. You don't have to go that high, but like. Which yeah, arm? Yeah, yeah. Which arm? So left arm. Yeah! <laughs> and then you're gonna turn to the side on your hands and knees. And oh try. God, it's like super hoey. I wanna you be more be cutie. But she can't be a hoe. You know what I mean? Very interesting kind of label that Kim Kardashian put out there with regards to calling that dance quote unquote hoey. And I love to just say that it's okay, at least from what I've learned, at the end of the day, this is a body and it's okay to move it how you want. Looking at it from a very overly inappropriate way is not necessary and sometimes it's okay to just go with the flow. So. What I recommend and encourage you all is that when trying something out for the first time, first off, you don't necessarily have to do something because at the end, what I've learned from the spiritual practice is it's all about acceptance, but not necessarily agreement. So you can accept this present moment, if anything you should, because that will help you accept life as it is. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to agree with everything that is happening. And so in this case and scenario, she could have maybe just disagreed with not doing the dance without giving that label. Because once you create a label, it's really just the mind creating a sense of unconscious bias towards this movement. And so it kind of takes away from the innocent aspect of just moving the body. So just wanted to shed that light. Let's continue. I mean, no, 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 like you can yeah. do it because you're not married. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll do this, the other part of the dance. Okay, so go to the side. See, that's yeah. where I don't have the rhythm to be like, Ooh, yeah, you just that did was it. Bitch. No, that was good. Like, move your hips. Yes. And then he goes, you put your finger and then you like snake down. Oh, this is you better idea. work, snake. <laughs> I can't do a snake. Snake. <laughs> snake around. And then you another one of those. And then again, where you hit your hip. I can't do this. <laughs> oh my God. I have eyes. Like, I see I'm not the best at it. I am gonna. I do want to point out how I love the energy and how they're genuinely it seems like they're laughing from the heart. It's not really much of a fake laughter, which you might expect from reality shows. So I'll have to really just appreciate that real quickly and also emphasize how it's all about just being one with the present moment. And it seems like in this case, as Kim is trying to learn the dance, she's really focused and in this kind of conscious flow state. I'm sure you've heard of the flow state before but it really seems like she's exhibiting that while learning the dance from Addison. And so I think it's a really cool thing uh, just to appreciate and observe and how when you do try new things, your mind essentially is in this new terrain. And when you're in this new terrain, it's easy, for example, how she kind of labeled that dance in a certain manner. But really what's cool is when you're really in a new terrain, 
your mind will not be able to grasp for new labels. And so you're able to observe things the way they are and really just be present. So dancing is a great tool that you can use to get into the present moment or even just learning new moves. We'd love to actually hear your favorite dance moves and what helps you get present in the comments down below. Now let's continue. And, you know, soak this all in, take it home and see if I have it in me to really do this. It is really intimidating. It gets easier. I'll try to do it at home. I'm gonna like, I wanna like play with it and see if I can really do it by myself. I think you did a great job. You really did for your first time dancing. Got, right? <laughs> that was a very interesting video. And as you could tell, I'm not really used to watching these kinds of videos. But at the end, I'm really just trying to use this as a platform to share spiritual advice or just how you can be more conscious. With that being said, I'll have to just say that it was a very relatively entertaining video. It was really nice to see the intersection between TikTok and the Kardashians kind of mixing together. And now me adding the spiritual dimension to this is just another mixture and I think it's really cool uh, to see all these three kind of worlds connecting. I mean, the Kardashians kind of represent the old age kind of very reality show type of culture that was present in the US. And now with the Addison Ray and let's say TikTok, it's kind of the new age, uh, younger audience type of culture. And so those two things are mixing. And now connecting all of that to what I'm doing right now, which is really just spreading awareness to meditation, wisdom, yoga, things like that. And especially why I want to connect this to the reality shows, or let's just say social media, for instance, whether it's stars like Addison Rae on TikTok. Well, you see, technology is great. And technology is a platform that you can really scale what you want to do. Now, technology itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's literally about how you use it. Is it working for you or is it working against you? As I've learned from Shasta Sadhguru about even your body, your mind, your intelligence, all those things, there's nothing good or bad about it. It's as simple as, is it working for you or is it working against you? And right now, technology is great. It's even allowing me to talk to you right now. But at the same time, it has been causing a lot of harm whether it's watching documentaries like The Social Dilemma and just looking at the, for example, not only COVID pandemic that we live in, but a mental health pandemic that we live in. And so a lot of the people are observing these types of shows and thinking that, for example, all their smiles and laughter, how they always are. But at the same time, it really is important to acknowledge that that is a very surface level as well as a very snippet part of their life. If anything, they do this for a living. And so it's important to really understand that that is not reality. That is not real life. Instead, I would encourage you all, whoever's watching the show, I mean, again, it's all about just finding that balance. But whenever you do have a chance and you find yourself mindlessly watching this, take a couple of breaths of fresh air. In fact, we can do one right now real quick together. So inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. So maybe try this before you watch the show, or let's just say in the middle of a commercial break, or let's just say right after the show. When you know that watching these aren't necessarily bad, but binge watching it is what really causes the harm, take these conscious breaths in between the shows and in between the episodes. And then I'd highly encourage you all to get some sunlight, go get some exercise. And these are things that will keep you more happy. You see those instant gratification measures that you take, whether it's scrolling through social media, whether it's watching a quick episode, those are fine. But again, it's all about the balance and the dosage. And if you're unconsciously using it, it can truly cause more harm than that small instant gratification benefit. And so that is why I wanted to just really emphasize that before I even dive deep into the details for what I want to discuss from the video. I do want to point out how I noticed Addison Rae does tend to kind of laugh a lot or have this kind of, kind of smiling kind of face, which is great. Uh, at the same time, just a question. Again, I'm not criticizing her as a person or what she does. I think it's really cool what she does and she is having a huge impact on a lot of the people. But at the same time, I've noticed from her that she tends to almost always be kind of smiling and laughing. And I'm just gonna say that, does it really reflect her inner state? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It could also reflect, sometimes people anxiously laugh, sometimes people will be really sad on the inside and still laugh. And the reason I'm bringing that all up is if you find yourself in similar situations, it's all about being genuine with how you are and your emotions. And then it's okay to have certain emotions of sadness, grief, anxiousness, happiness, joy. These are all very natural emotions. At the same time, 
it's important to realize that you have control over these. The emotions should work for you. You don't have to work for your emotions. So the reason I'm saying all of that is the first step, which I've realized from experience with overcoming these difficult emotions is truly just accepting it. Show it, let it out, let it out consciously. I wouldn't recommend you punch the wall if you're angry, but maybe a little next step would be punching a boxing bag and then eventually, let's just say, doing a meditation session, which would be eventually a great goal to have with letting out what you feel consciously. And so maybe that is something to consider. Again, I'm not saying that Addison is doing that and that she is sad inside. I just wanted to emphasize that if you are always finding yourself faking the smile or faking the laugh, that you don't have to do that. You can be present. Just really know that being present is actually the strongest drug truly out there, more than drinking, more than smoking, more than anything. You tapping into consciousness or presence really is God's greatest gift. There's a reason why it's called present. And so by really just tapping into it, you see first when you're doing it, you might get bored of it and your mind will be like, oh, what are you doing? You're doing nothing. Well, if you truly tap into it, you truly connect with the trees around you, truly feel the sun bathing its rays all over your skin, giving you vitamin D and energy. Those joys are so much more sustainable and so much more powerful. One way to practice this presence practice, as I like to call it, is one, take those conscious breaths like we did earlier. And two, whenever you're outside or even inside, honestly, close your eyes, put out five fingers, and then every time with the eyes closed, you notice a distinct sound, close the finger. So right now I hear a car going down. I hear my breath. And you get the idea. Start practicing these things, whether you're anxious moments or whether you're joyful moments. Because when you truly do that, regardless of how the emotions are, you'll be able to tap into the present moment. And that itself will help ground you. And then you will naturally just be joyful all the time. Thank you so much for watching this response to The Kardashian Show and featuring Addison Rae. I appreciate you making the time. And if you have any thoughts about how you would act in this situation or any other pointers that you have about the actual episode we watched together, please comment that down below. And also, if you have any other video requests, also comment that down below. With that, make it a great day. Take a joyful and stay conscious.